morning, my name is Denise. Welcome to Suncoast Crafting. Today, we will plan and kit up the project to cross stitch a small lavender flower. The pattern. The lavender flower design I'm using is from the Freestyle Projects page on the Diamond Dots website. Deciding which fabric to use was a project in itself. First, I looked at a selection of yellow fabrics. Then I brought out purple fabrics. And finally, I put together green fabrics. In the end, I liked the look of the sparkly green over-dyed linen called Crystal Kermit. I bought this fabric years ago from a wonderful cross-stitch shop in Venice, Florida called Needlepoint Ivy. Sadly, this charming shop is no longer in business, but there is a lovely restaurant called Cafe Venice where Needlepoint Ivy used to be. With live music and gourmet food, Cafe Venice, like so much in Venice, Florida, is definitely worth a visit. So how much fabric do I need? I use the 123 stitch linen even weave fabric calculator to calculate the fabric size. The pattern is 38 stitches wide by 39 stitches high. I wanted three inches extra fabric on all sides for framing. I'll be using 28 count fabric stitched over two threads. According to the 123 stitch calculator, I will need fabric 9 inches wide by 9 inches high. The stitched area will be 2.71 inches wide by 2.79 inches high, or about 3 inches wide by 3 inches high. You can see why I use the calculator instead of doing the math myself. The next step is to convert the diamond colors to thread colors. I used the DMC to Diamond Dots conversion chart on the Diamond Dots website to convert the Diamond Dots diamond colors into DMC thread colors. I downloaded the chart from the Diamond Dots website. At the bottom of the Diamond Dots freestyle page, click DMC conversion chart for an online chart. At the bottom of that online chart, click the download DMC conversion chart. When the save as window opens, select a folder and click save. So now let's create our beautiful lavender flower. So let's talk about the cost. First, let's talk about the pattern. The lavender flower design I'm using is from the Freestyle Projects page on the Diamond Dots website. So it was free. So let's talk about the fabric. I bought the glittery green 13 inch by 17 inch piece of 28 count over dyed linen called Crystal Kermit fabric years ago for $14.50 at a wonderful cross stitch shop in Venice, Florida called Needlepoint Ivy. Let's talk about the threads. There are six colors in this project. At 60 cents per skein, that's a total of $3.60 purchased from 123 Stitch. I'll use these skeins on more than one project. Let's talk about finishing the project. 
The 6 inch by 6 inch frame was $9.99 on Amazon. The 3 pack of 8 by 10 press on mounting board was $10.61 or $3.54 for one piece of mounting board. Let's talk about the total. The total for this project is $31.63 for the cross stitch lavender flower. The total assumes you are using these items only for this one project, and you are using all new items, nothing left over from another project. The frame and mounting board are $13.53, or 43% of the $32 total. The linen fabric is $14.50, or 46% of the $32 total. Often in cross stitch, the fabric is the most expensive part. And I could have selected less expensive fabric, but the shimmering crystal kermit seems perfect for this project. If you have a masterpiece that you created, please leave a link in the comments to your YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, etc. site to share your beautiful work. Thank you for joining me today. I look forward to working on more projects you are interested in. Please like and subscribe and join us again for Suncoast Crafting.